no lace back and uh, I'm gonna tell a story about anting anting or amulets so I'll give you a short background about this uh, anting anting mostly this is in the Philippines one of our um, uh, beliefs that uh, uh, having anting anting is to become like a powerful so I say um, like introductions what is the story about I will give you something about it children love to see a magician perform whether it's David Copperfield on stage magic Tom on television or a hard magician at a party in children magic acts as wonderful mysterious and awesome in many cases our house would be pitted would be littered with magicians cape hats and wands long after any magic show having a sister a dip with a needle was a definite plus especially one who could transform the, the plainest magician's props to work of art the appeal of magic is however not the exclusive domain of children. Adults are just as fascinated by it. Hence, the popularity of movies with magical themes, they probably allow us to escape from day-to-day -day drudgery and life challenges by identifying with a story. The Philippines is a hotbed of magic stories. When something happens for which there is no explanation, it is attributed to magic. When something unexpected comes to pass, magic is in the air. It, this, it is this belief in magic that has made us Filipinos what we are today. Tenacious, patient, positive, loyal, hospitable, enterprising, and believers in the innate goodness of people. So that's, all, that's only a poor word about magic, how we, how we people, how we Filipinos had, had, um, had to... <laughs> Have to accept about this uh, anting anting. All right, so we go now to the story. The anting anting is a story about magic. Once upon a time, a man named Suri lived with his parents in a town called Linao. He was strong, kind, helpful. He could be depended upon during times of crisis, and in town like Linao there was always a crisis of one kind or another. On one occasion, heavy rains flooded the rice fields, Sony single-handedly rerouted the excess water from the rice paddies. Another time, thousands of fish came ashore, so resalted and dried them, distributed them to each and every family in Lino, again all by himself. A time went by, Sony realized that the people of Lina were getting lazy. They would rather sleep in their hammocks than work their farms. The men folk that would rather massage their roasters and drink lambano, local wine, than go fishing. And the women, they would rather visit each other and gossip while combing and braiding each other's hair that rather than cook and clean their houses. Nobody lifted a finger to do anything and is absolutely necessary. No wonder the whole town looked decrepit and run down. An atmosphere of gloom seemed to hang over Lina. There were no more welcoming smiles and no more children playing tago hide and seek. It looked like the town was in grip of something unexplainable and Sony could not pin pinpoint what it was. One day, Sony dug up a jar while planting kamote, sweet potatoes. Inside the jar was an old piece of paper. It belonged to a magician who had lived in Lino a long, long time ago. Sony's neighbors did not believe the story about the old magician. They thought that he was a pigment of imagination. But Sony now had proof that indeed there was once had been a magician of Linau. 
the old magician wrote about how an ordinary man could become powerful by having an anti anting anting. He hoped that whoever found the paper would be a good person. He gave details on how to obtain the anting anting. He also told about an evil magician that would suck the life out of Lino unless there was an anting anting toward of his curse. The evil magician had once before put a curse on the town. Soon he decided that he must get this anting anting at any cost before all was lost. First, Sony consulted the town's manghuhula, the fortune teller. She predicted that he would succeed in obtaining the, the anting anting. Next, he asked his parents, facing for his dangerous undertaking. Then, he informed the town about the course and appraised them of what must be done. The people bade him goodbye and provided him with food to eat, a blanket to keep him warm, a lamp to light his way, weapons to fight with, and prayers. According to the magician's instruction, soon he had to go to a mountain far from Reno where banana plants grew, so large that they almost touched the clouds. He had to look for the biggest banana in tallest banana plant, one of with wide leaves and a single violet flower. This is the puso ng saging, the heart of the banana, and beneath this flower, he had to wait until midnight. And when the flower would start to open, from its tip, a drop of moisture would fall. This would be the anting anting. Following his instructions, Sony opened his mouth to receive the drop, but as soon as he closed it, there appeared an evil apparition with fairy eyes. Horrifying monster! Tiana! Ghost, they were the guardians of the Anting Anting. They would not allow anybody to take it and leave it to tell the story. They did not want Sony to be powerful and strong and magical. So the guardians tried to open his mouth. They screamed at him with scary voices. They threw him around. They tried to kill him, but Sony was protected by the magician's chant. He had to be able to fight on until dawn. He was almost ready to give up when the first rays of sun came out, and suddenly the evil guardians vanished. Who soon evoked with joy because he knew that the anting anting was his. When soon he went back to Lino, he learned that what he thought was a one day trip had actually been a month long journey. He immediately saw a difference in the town. People were smiling and working again. Children were playing once more and yelling at the top of their lungs. The course of Lina was gone. Lina was once again a vibrant town. Lina became the hub of commerce for all the neighboring towns. Soon he became the town's magician, dispensing his magic only for the good of mankind. People fondly called him Sony with the anting anting. So when you hear about somebody who is prophetic and perhaps has magical power, take note. That person must just must just have an anting anting like Soris, like Sonis, or could be one of Sonis' descendants. That's the end of the story. So I hope you like the story, guys. So watch my next video about a different story. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone and good night.